<clears throat> that look says if you don't get that light out of my eyes. It's time for reaction. Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd and um Allison Lauren Babic. Um the song is called When Demons Come to Life. Um it's an original, which is both Lauren Babic and Allison have original songs. We know that. Uh, so does Violet Orlandi and and but they're known for their covers. They really shine when they do covers and I get all that. And we, we showcased some of their stuff last week, and I told everyone that I was going to do this reaction to this song, but I wanted to take my time and do it right. Really kind of separate it, because it is an original song. Um, really interested to see how Lauren shows up in this one. Is she just going to be the primal, savage warrior vocalist where she's just destroying everything in her path? Is Allison going to be the Allison that we're used to, which is more of a... Um, light-hearted um, production style where they're in the studio and you see I've seen the clips and the thumbnail for this so it looks like an actual real original official music video where they're kind of showing a little bit of a dark theme based upon the thumbnail so this is a little bit less light-hearted and I want to say light-hearted I mean normally when you see Hallison do their work when they're especially when they're doing covers they're usually in their performance studio and you have Joe up against that wall with his tattoos and his drum set and Bradley's up against a backlight and, you know, and Addie's just usually, you know, dressed up, made up, hair's perfect and she's just, you know, great camera work and lighting and this isn't that kind of situation. This is a poignant original song. And the name of this, like I said, the name of the song is When Demons Come to Life. We're not exactly looking at something that's just going to be, hey, hi. It's not going to be like that. So my name is Old School Nerd. Uh, this is going to be my reaction. I plan to stop it and talk about it because I think it deserves to be discussed. I think so. Check us out on OldSchoolNerd.com. It's got all the social media posts. The Patreon link for those who want to help support the channel. We appreciate all of you. New stuff coming to Patreon this week, including links to the Comic-Con that we're going to be at this Saturday where I'm hosting a panel on how to do YouTube content. <laughs> I have no idea why they said I could. <laughs> anyway, let's get going with this. This is, this is Hallison with Lauren B uh, Babbitt doing When Demons Come to Life, an original song. This is the official video. My name is Old School Nerd. Let's get into this. First impressions, number one, apparently, Allison has been spending way too much time with Violet Orlandi. <laughs> That's about how dark this came off. And, and I, that was a joke, by the way. Um, Allison can do anything creatively. It's, it was just a joke. If you've been around this for long enough, you, you get all that. Um, here's the other thing. Okay, every time I see Addie, it, it, it's... Normally when I see Addie, she's smiling, she's in front of the camera, the lights, everything is great, and everything is just wonderful. And that doesn't bother me. But in this case, Addie's wearing a straight jacket with blood on the wall, counting days, weeks, years, however long she's been in a mental institution. And the reason why this is disturbing to me is because Addie looks a lot like my daughter, Megan. That's my daughter, Megan. That's Addie. So every time I see a Hallison video, I'm like, you know, as long as Addie's happy and singing and stuff, it doesn't bother me. But when I see Addie in a bad situation where 
there's some deep sadness or despair and she's projecting that I'm going to put See how that works for me? <laughs> what can I say? My kid looks a lot like, yeah. Uh, the other thing, um, man, they went really dark and I like it. Now, we haven't heard Lauren yet. Um, is Lauren gonna come in on a course doing some kind of savage thing? We don't know. Um, I, Addie's voice is so clear and crisp. She's slicing through this. And when she does a whisper tone and she's doing that really soft tone, it's, it's almost unnerving in a great way. Let's continue. With words just like I'm playing, cutting pieces from me, so nothing remains, to like go insane, I do. A lot of dark power. I keep on screaming. Help. I cannot breathe. Someone save me from myself. A lot of intimate passion in this. Really strong. All I can find is myself. Alone in my mind. Demons Okay, sorry to stop it so soon, but I really got to point something out. Um, some of you know this, some of you don't. I've been a fan of Lauren Babbick long before I started doing YouTube reactions. Um, I was a fan of hers when she was a member of Crazy 88. Um, if you go back, um, um, I Am Tetsuo is probably my favorite song by them, period. Um, however, um, Shinebox is great. And of course, their cover of the sound is quite possibly the greatest version of that song, period. And I'm not kidding. All three of those songs are on my playlist. Constantly. That's my gym playlist, you know? So I'm used to hearing Lauren's voice. I've heard Lauren's voice all the time. The aggressiveness, that raw, primal passion, all that stuff. But the beginning, her first few notes, has a vulnerability in her voice that you don't get to hear very often. It's pure. It is gentle. It's soft. And it's very, very, I'm trying to think of a word that best describes it. When I talk about Violet Orlandi's standard tone, that richness of her out, power alto because it's so low, it's very rich. I talk about Addie's being so razor sharp when she cuts through those upper level notes. And for Lauren, it's so soft and genuine sounding. If you don't know what I'm talking about, listen. Listen to this. I play the Granted, it was only two lines of it, but it was so genuinely soft and comforting. That tone of hers was so soft, genuine, and, tut and comforting. And then to go directly into where she starts putting in that, that power behind it, it becomes aggressive and very much a stronger tone, um, which she's known for. I'll probably listen to this song 100 times a hundred times just so I can hear those two lines because I want to hear that that genuine tone she has it you don't get to hear it often enough now I'm going to stop 
unless something else blows me out of the water I've never seen before, we're going to let this continue to play, seriously. But these are the moments that when I see these songs, I have to like share with you guys. Because I know a lot of you, I get a lot of messages of like, just let the song play, just let the song play. That's not why I'm making a reaction because I want to share with you guys the things that I notice, the things that catch my ear or catch my eye, and what I'm thinking or feeling at the moment. Because when you're talking about music, it's not just music. It's an expression of emotion. It's an expression of art. And all arts, whether it be comedy, how it makes you laugh or feel jovial, uh, artistry in painting, photography, videography, where it, it catches the mind's eye and exposes a response. And then when you deal with music, music is a primal language of emotion. So different songs, different ways that they're sung, the tones, the build, the composition, the arrangement of music can either raise an emotional response, it can lower an emotional response, it can cause a savage feeling of anxiety or excitement. That's why I stop it, because I want to I want to share with you guys what I'm feeling, because I'm going to feel things differently than what you guys are feeling, and I might be feeling something differently from a song than what Lauren or Addie or Bradley or Joe intended it for it to be, but that's the beautiful thing about musical art is that every response from every person will be unique. I'm just sharing mine with you guys. Let's go. Bradley and Joe, damn good job. I know I haven't mentioned you guys enough in this performance. The, the musical vehicle that these two ladies are riding in right now is powerful, it's intimate, it's dark, but it has a, a fight in it where they're fighting against it and you can feel that build. You guys have really made something that works for this vocal performance and I think it's amazing. Um, I just can't even begin to tell you how impressed I am with this song, um, how this is done. Damn good job, guys. Damn good job. By the way, we're about halfway through. <laughs>
Good job, Bradley. Produced, directed. Song was probably written, <laughs> mastered, produced, <laughs> mixed, edited, post-production. Uh, Bradley works too hard. Um, Bradley, Joe, great work on the music on this. is amazingly well done. Uh, to Lauren and Addie, wow. Let me explain to you how important a song like this is to me, how I feel about a song like this. So we're just going to take my phone like this and we're going to go right here. Just so you guys can see. Okay, here we go right here. This is when demons come to life. There we go. There's Allison and Lauren Baby. Go right here. Okay. Click download. Go right here. And we're going to add to playlist. Okay. And we're going to go down here. Old school nerd gym list. Add it. It's also going to, I'm also going to put it on the car playlist. So we can roll that sucker in the car. Yeah. It's an instant playlist song. It's the kind of song you can go into the gym and, and knock out a set of, you know, that one last set. You can knock that out in the gym. You know, this is the kind of song where you could play in the car on a long road trip and it's just, yeah, it's one of those. My name is Old School Nerd, and that was Hallison and Lauren Babick, When Demons Come to Life, and probably one of my favorite songs by Hallison. I know I mentioned earlier my favorite songs by Lauren Babick from before. This is probably one of my favorite originals by Hallison. Um, so they didn't let me down. Hope you enjoyed this reaction. My name is Old School Nerd, and I'm out. <laughs> I need a nap after that. I'm too old for this.